Hey everybody, welcome. <clears throat> Got a new arrival here that just came in yesterday. Uh, this is the latest game from Stonemeyer Games uh, called Scythe. It is designed by Jamie Stegmeyer and uh, has just stunning artwork uh, by Jacob Rosalski. Um, it is alternate history, post-World War I, shattered Eastern Europe, uh, steampunk, science fiction, empire building, 4X, kind of an amalgamation of all those things. Plus, yes, there is a sort of a Euro component with this as well. Um, mine just came in. It's the collector's edition. I'll let you know right off the bat. Uh, so there may be some premium components in here uh, that you will not get uh, should you pick up the retail edition. Uh, before we get started also, I just want to give you a little warning. Some people might be upset at me for this, but uh, I'm already seeing uh, some copies of this go on the used market uh, being sold for $200 and up. Uh, I strongly encourage you, if you are if you were late to the Kickstarter and are shopping for a copy of this game, I strongly recommend you wait. Uh, legitimate retailers will be getting their stock of this game uh, in the very soon uh, days and weeks to come. Uh, and I'm seeing prices for them range from $50 to $75. So, uh, hold off. Uh, anyway. Let's get the box open and have a look at the goodies inside. It is huge. I was expecting a big package, but uh, it's heavy. There's a lot of stuff in here. It is over 14 inches long. It is a foot wide. And this box is four inches deep. There is a lot of goodness in here. All right, let's get rid of the shrink. Have a look at the treasure inside. Scythe from Stonemeyer Games. All right, here's some of Jacob's artwork on the side of the box. Wow, look at that. And here's the box back. This game comes with minis. I know there are some premium things in here that will not be in the standard retail edition. I believe I have metal coins. I believe there is a board extension in here to enlarge the playing surface. All right, let me reposition the camera so we can get a closer look. Okay, uh, looks like to start off, we've got wooden resource tokens, one in each color of each of the five factions that are represented in this game. Okay. Huh. Not bad. These are quite, quite serviceable. Oh, there's more in there. All right. Yeah, these are, these are all right. Oh, <clears throat> these are plastic clips that can, but don't have to be used to clip the two sections of board together. Like I said, there's a board extension here to uh, enlarge the playing surface. What do we got here? These are metal. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. Resources of some sort. But they're solid metal. 
They're quite heavy. Okay. Okay, these are actually structure tokens, and that's an action pawn there that my thumb is on. Uh, this is an actual resource token, and in this version of the game, uh, your metal resource is actual <laughs> heavy metal ingots. Pretty cool. So we got a deck of cards here. And it looks like these possibly go on the player mats. The artwork on these is just stunning. The cards are good quality. They have like a fabric finish on them. Wow. I just, I want to stop the video and just slowly <laughs> admire each and one, every one of these paintings, these little works of art here. Ah, uh, boy. Okay, looks like we've got some player aid cards. Put more player aid cards for each faction. I'm terrible at taking the shrink off of card decks. Okay. These are goal cards, it looks like, or achievement cards. Wow. These are just beautiful. Yep, I'm going to be sleeving all of these. Just so nice. Clearly a great deal of care was put into the design and manufacture of this stuff. Automa cards. There is a full solitaire AI with this game. Um, they call it an Automa. Uh, it was designed by the same person who designed the Automa for Viticulture, a game I have not played. Wow. Look at this artwork, you guys. <laughs> the winged hussars. <laughs> Incredible. Just eye popping. Oh boy, this is going to be a long unboxing. There is just a ton of stuff in here. Uh, let's see. These must be our wood resource tokens. <laughs> little, little wooden logs. <laughs> They're like little sculptures. Incredible. These look like oil barrels. Yep, those are drums of oil. No doubt. Uh, what do we got here? Sacks of grain. <laughs> look at that.
Uh, some wooden stars and meeples for each one of the factions. I'm not going to open those. You know what meeples look like. Okay, what do we got here? Oh my, okay. These are the metal coins and each faction has its own money. Each one is individually tagged. Wow. This looks like the German faction's money. Actual metal coins. Russia. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Chinese These coins are stunning Oh boy, can't remember what faction this is. Just beautiful. Just stunning. It feels like real money in your hand. Okay. All right, moving along. Looks like we've got some more cards here. All right. Okay, these are random event cards um, where you interact with the local population and you have choices as to what action you want to take. This artwork, it just draws you in. Wow. Start a bear cavalry by enlisting the animal. Have a bear meat sandwich for lunch, or the bears frolic together in the snow. <laughs> oh boy. These cards are just... There's no way this video can do these cards and artwork justice. It's just stunning. Look at that. Look at the mech there off in the distance. I just... 
you can just step into these pictures and, and, and just experience this world. Wow. I'm sorry, this is taking way too long. Not sure what these are. Oh, okay. They must go into these. I'm going to be honest, I'm not quite certain what these are. Power dials of some sort. Looks like a spinner, but I don't think there's a spinner in this game. That's just something out of a horror movie right there. Oh boy. Uh, these also are part of the play mats, I think. The different factions. The Crimeans, the Nordics, the Rusviets, the Republic of Polonia, I'm thinking Poland, the Saxony Empire. Ah, okay. Upgraded play mats. And it's hard to see, but there are actual indentations in these where your components will fit and not slide around. Just gorgeous. The pro uh, I've got some nice games, you guys. I've not seen production value like this. I, I don't know. It's almost too nice. I, oh, they give you some containers to store components in. They thought of everything. I almost don't want to play it. I don't know, I should frame it or put it in a museum or something. It's incredible. These are the minis. This was packed with care. Here are the mechs. And these, this is not that cheap, brittle plastic. This is, this is good stuff. These should be nice and sturdy. And they, they snap back into the holder. Well, boy. If you're a fan of bits. <laughs> this is just stunning. Uh, components almost never uh, make or break a game for me. But... Uh, what I'm seeing here is is simply beautiful. From the artwork, 
down to the way it's packaged so carefully. Uh, we've got some uh, additional Ziploc bags for storage here. This has labor of love written all over it. Okay. Here's our what appears to be the rule book. Glossy, full color. Seems like there are many pages here, but. As you can see, it's not very dense. Combat rules. Uh, looks like... 28 total pages of rules. A quick reference guide. And there's to keep track of achievements. Here's the rules for the Solitaire Automa. Ten pages. Oh boy, still digging everybody. Here's an ad. Okay. Two sheets of counters that can be punched. Uh, I imagine this is what you will be getting if you get the standard retail copy. Coins, resources, etc. And uh, well, tell you what. As this kind of stuff goes, it's not bad. Okay, the map, the board. I'm going to break so that I can make space to unfold this so you can get a good look at it uh, before I pull out the map. They printed an aid to show you how everything fits back into the box. <laughs> uh, nice touch. Very nice. Because there's a lot of stuff in this box. Okay. Hope you got a big table. This, this is the standard board that you get with any copy of Scythe. It is two foot one inch wide. And two foot eight inches long. It's a big board. And look at the artwork. Just on the map. Every hex is its own little world. Stunning. Now, uh, sorry about that. On the flip side is the enlarged board.
How I did that one-handed, I don't know. And we have the board extension here. Alright, let me break so I can uh, use both hands on this. Just stunning. Uh, extra large hexes now. Same board, just larger. And uh, we're over three feet long now by two foot eight inches wide. It's massive and just gorgeous. There it is, everybody. Scythe in all of its glory from Stonemeyer Games. I'm sorry this video ran so long. Very long for an unboxing. I know, but there is just so much stuff in this box. I wanted you to get a good look at all of it. The money, the cards, the map, the box, the play aids, the play mats. I, I, I usually avoid saying things like this, but just in terms of production quality, component quality, I, I don't even have everything set up here yet. I, I just can't get it all in the camera shot. But in terms of production quality, honest to God, this may be the most beautiful game I own. And I'll tell you what, I've got some nice ones. It is just eye-popping. Everything in this box appears to be very well thought out, well designed, and thoughtfully crafted. If the rules and the gameplay are even half as good as the bits coming out of the box, this game is going to be something. That's Scythe, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, happy gaming.